Hey fam, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Jacob, if you guys are new. And today, I would like to give you guys a tour of my new and updated room. The idea for this video is inspired by Stevie South. You guys should check him out. I'll have a link to the video that I took inspiration from in the description. If you guys like fashion slash streetwear content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's free, and if you guys don't like me after a while, you guys can always unsubscribe. Seriously guys, it only takes two seconds, so stop being fake and hit that subscribe button. And while you guys are down there, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the future because that lets me know what you guys are interested in and at the same time lets me know what i should be uploading all right for this video i'm gonna have a little bit of a switch up from my past room tour video basically i'll have a b-roll clip while i do a voiceover hopefully you guys like this format for this type of video instead so yeah if you guys like it drop a like down below if you guys don't dislike it I'm good either way. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. And this is my room tour for 2021. When you first walk into my room, you are greeted with a coat rack that I use to hang my bags. Underneath that, you have some storage boxes that has some stuff like old books for school and hats that I don't use. Next to that is my mirror that is hung on the wall and this is what I use to check out my outfits every day. I took a couple inspiration from Off-White in my room, especially when it comes to the back of my door as you guys can see here. Moving on to the TV area, I have a bright wooden TV stand that I got from Walmart and I actually quite like how it looks in my room. On top of the TV stand, I have my Audio Technica turntable. Here's the item number on the screen. Next to that, I have a set of Logitech Z533 speakers and it does the job really well in terms of sound quality. I have my favorite choice of fragrances beside the turntable and behind it, it's an abstract painting that I made inside my car. I thought it looked really nice so I framed it. And next to that, we have my PlayStation 4 Pro with two controllers. I don't really game that much anymore because of school and work, but sometimes it's nice to hop on and game with my brother or friends. The TV I have is a LG flat screen 50 inch smart TV with Ultra 4K but I only use it for YouTube or Spotify. The shelf on the top of the TV has some of my Dragon Ball statues and it let me show off my interest in anime and Japanese culture. Next to that is where I keep my film lights. Even though it doesn't look the best there, it's the only spot in my room where I can actually keep the lights. For my closet, I really wanted a dark black theme because to me, having an all black base wardrobe is so much more appealing to the eyes and so much more easier to make fits in the morning. Unfortunately, one of the door to the closet is broken, so hopefully I can get that fixed soon. But I'm going to have to save the closet tour for another time. So if you guys want a more in-depth closet tour, then let me know in the comments. Going to the side of my bed, we have two IKEA shelves that I took off the wall and made it a nightstand. And I have some all black elements on there to keep it in the tones with the rest of the room. But it's mainly there so I can have a place to keep my socks and underwear which are inside the small boxes inside the shelf itself. Next to that, we have some sneaker boxes that I have lying around and some additional storage boxes under those. And on the wall, I have a whiteboard that has a list of anime I want to watch or keep up with. I also have have my pair of Yeezy's turtle dove on top of those boxes for display but I mainly can't find a good place to store them. For the bed I have an Ikea mom bed frame with four storage compartments. This is what my bed looks like whenever I actually have the willpower to make it look somewhat decent in the morning. I really like the white bed sheets and the comforters. Also my body pillows have a really nice gray shade to it to where it doesn't look plain on the bed. Overall, it's just really minimal and very easy to look at. And I also have a stuffed monkey named Monkey, because why not? <music> 
this is my desk setup and other than my bed this is where i spent majority of my day in my room if i'm at home whether it's doing homework for school or editing the next video for youtube this is where i sit down and get most of my inspiration and motivation to get stuff done i'm not really a computer nerd anymore so i can't really tell you what is in my pc but here's what it looks like I have a 3 monitor set up because I sometimes want to have something to play in the background for noise while I work on YouTube or homework and usually those mainly takes up the two bottom monitors. The desk is from IKEA and is famously known as the IKEA gaming desk hack. If you would like to know more, there's more than enough videos on YouTube that explains how to make your own specific desk like this. I like to keep my desk pretty clean and minimal and also clutter free. I only like to keep a couple things on there such as my room spray my apple watch and a funko pop figure to give it a pop of color the salt lamp is only temporarily there for the moment but i really like it there for the extra colors that it gives off on top of that i have another floating shelf and on it i have things such as my microphone for whenever i do voiceover for the channel or a gaming headset for whenever i game and also other anime decorations and other decoration pieces that fits the aesthetic that i'm going for Behind my desk, I have my bookcase where I keep some of my sneakers on display to show people who comes into my room and let them know that I like shoes. And if this setting looks familiar, it is the place that I film most of my fashion b-roll for the channel. So yeah, this is mostly where I film things like that because in the morning when the sun is shining into the huge window, it gives my room a really good lighting in this area. So I thought why not just use it to my advantage. To summarize my bedroom, I have a lot of things I didn't mention in the video because if I take time out to explain every single detail and things that are in my room, we would be here all day. And that transitioned us to the end of the video. And that leads us to the end of the video. If you made it this far, I just want to say thank you for sticking along with me through this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel because I have so much more fire content coming out your way. And I know for a fact that you guys don't want to miss out. In the comments, I would like to know your opinion on my room. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if it needs some improvements, just let me know all down there. Also, if you guys would want to see a closet tour in the future, I would be more than happy to make an updated closet tour. But yeah, that is all for today, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.